coming up this hill, there's this moment of anticipation before I come around the curve to see if the house is still there. And there's always that same amazing feeling. I feel like this place waits for me, you know, to take me in again. I see more now than them, but she who had my eyes closed them in happiness and wrapped the dark in her arms and stole my life away, singing in dreams of what was sure to come. That intensity, what appears to be a kind of constant mourning, is owed to, I think, being haunted, being haunted by one's material. And these few precious days I'll spend with you. In a way, I feel like Ruth's giant grief was very much like a part of our whole family dynamic. You know when someone loves you. Mm -hmm. He he didn't not love me. Yeah. Clearly, if she had not wanted to talk about it, she was free not to talk about it, but she was very open about it. But I saw that she had a hard time in the world with the old boys club. One of my colleagues asserted that her poetry was women's poetry and was not serious. But Ruth knew exactly what was going on in terms of class and snobbery and contempt. I see it perfectly except the beast fumbles and falters until the others wince. Everything shimmers and glitters and shakes with unbearable longing. The dancers who cannot sleep and the sleepers who cannot dance. Those poems are so different from anybody else's poem. There is no style that is like Ruthie's. She didn't copy anybody. We learned over the weekend that poet Ruth Stone has died at the age of 96. Stone died at home in Vermont with her family by her side on November. Oh. Hey.